All right, folks, well, y as you can hear right now, there are some strange sounds happening here on Bridge Street in Sackville, New Brunswick. Perhaps you can hear the sound of a drill drilling or young people shouting. You know why they're shouting? Because they're trying to throw up a tent. You know what that looks like? You might remember from the last episode of YCTV, we were talking a little bit about how to pitch a tent. Well, let's take it to the next level. Colin, get a shot of this tent over here. Now that is how you pitch a tent, my friends. Look at this thing. Every year, people come from all over the universe to here, the center of the universe, Sackville, New Brunswick, with a pole on the ground, I'll step on it. And why are they doing that? Why are they coming here? For Sappy Fest. Sappy Fest happens every year, and it needs a really big tent. There's a great deal of infrastructure involved in, in setting up a festival like this. So Colin and I thought we'd take you for a behind the scenes look at exactly what goes on for putting on a festival of this caliber. Hope you enjoy. Well, here we are at Sappy Fest, just like we were last time. And you know what? It's a beautiful day. Couldn't ask for a nicer day. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the family that is Sappy Fest. Families can take all different shapes and forms. My family is, you're seeing it all right now here, unfurled before your eyes. And uh, if I had to think about who's the matriarch, I'm going to go with Julie Dweron. She's going to be the matriarch of the Sappy family. And uh, also, uh, you've changed records recording artists. You should check out Julie's hot new album. You know, the thing about family is that sometimes it's not always easy. Sometimes it's hard. Being in a family takes work. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to meet. You got to be able to meet with each other. Family isn't just something that just falls out of the sky and lands into your life. But a family is something you have to build and develop. Just like the Sappy Fest family here this weekend in 2023. A family reunion that we like to call Sappy Fest. Why don't we take a pop into the... Uh, to the music grounds here and see if we can find any anyone to chat with see if anyone's willing to have a little chat i look around and i just see people f there's simone simone you got a second to chat i'm great how are you doing i'm okay yeah what's up well colin and i were just we just went for a little stroll and we were talking about the sappy fest family we we're I created a metaphor of uh, a Sappy Fest as like a family gathering. I mean, that's like pretty loaded, right? Because like everyone's got a different relationship to their family. Yeah, everyone has different types of families. Yeah. My family is a music festival. So are you playing this weekend, hey? Yeah, 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 yeah. Call and cut to a shot of Simone rocking. <laughs> And then cut back to us talking. Yeah, I think it'll be good. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna like play with Bianca Palmer and Jeremy Costello and Nathan Doucette, so that's pretty nice. You know, they're really good musicians. Your family too, Rob. You're probably some sort of family, musical fam family. Honestly, Jim, I hate to say it, but I've divested from family as metaphor. Like I have a family; they do their thing. Yeah, yeah. I just want my friends to be my friends. Fair enough. Now make me a steak in the order of things. Make me a top with a purpose for spinning. Make me a skin that is thicker than by Help me in love at the end of the line. Do like it book. May like a man. Do like a weed. When you come back, like, I just want to kind of extend this thing to you like your when you think of this as your family what does your mom feel like your real mom my mom and dad always joke around about adopting all of my friends because they just love my friends so much oh, so, so nice. yeah I think they'd be pretty good they feel pretty strong pretty good about it yeah I feel like that it makes sense that that's how you why you feel savvy fest is like a family yeah. that's so nice well the kids corner power jam is about to start don't want to miss any of that. No, I really don't. I love this. It's Deadly Latte is on. You know, 
festival was almost shut down. They had an actual official evacuation call last night. And all of this, everyone cleared out. People, there's not a single person here. There was thunder and lightning. It's very intense. And then Fiverr, like a phoenix from the ashes, returned and played an incredible set. Who's that over there? I think Colin spotted someone. I think that's Julie Dwyer on. Let's get in there and take a look. I'll do this. We'll watch this one here. Oh, that uh, didn't work. Hey, how's it going, Julie? Colleen, how you doing? Hey, how are you doing, Jimmy? Fantastic. We got a little, little cluster. Are you looking good? Looking good. So what are we? How are we? What are we doing? Well, I'm just coming. You know, I want to. I heard the little bird told me that you're going to be playing a secret show tonight with a hot new band. How are you feeling before the gig? Are you uh, nervous, excited? Uh, you know, I don't mean to ask too many leading questions. How are you feeling? Tell them folks in YCTV how you're feeling. I'm both feeling nervous and excited. I'm excited about the songs you picked. Oh, yeah, I picked the set list. So if you don't like the choices, don't blame her. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, um, yeah, I don't really know. Like, there's, it's kind of loose. Like, we don't know how long we're allowed to basically play as long as we want and there's no that it's really just it's gonna be cool we can do whatever it's sappy style so nobody knows exactly what's gonna happen and that's the where the magic happens exactly i think it's good to have a little bit of that and i'm excited about that happening in this particular sappy fest well thanks julie thanks colleen last week in ontario was hillside festival and unfortunately i couldn't be there but junior correspondent Juliana Riolino was there. I'm gonna throw it to her right now. And I really mean throw it. Juliana? Thanks, Jimmy. Uh, this is Juliana Riolino reporting live from Hillside on Saturday, uh, just after Stephen Lamke performed on the island stage. And uh, I have Stephen Lamke right here. Or Steve Lamke. Hi, Jules. Steve Z. Hi. Hi. Uh, so how was it for you? It was fantastic. Tell us uh, a little bit about uh, who you had up there. An outfit of high, of high proportions, high girth. Yes. Well, we like to, you know, we stick together. You've changed, and uh, we would do anything for our fearless leader over here. I'm neither leader or fearless. I had some fear up there. Did you? Yeah, a little bit. It didn't look like you okay, had fear. Again. When I feel fear, I point. You point, point at the audience. Yeah, yeah. As it, and then it, it, sh it transfers little bits of the fear yeah. to the audience, and then together it's shared yeah. and then uh, transcended. There's the no hill. There's no hill. We're just, we're beside, maybe beside a hill? We're hillside. I guess we are hillside, I don't, I'm sure. You, you heard it here first, folks. Expose, no hill. <laughs> over the hill. Over. Feeling over the hill. A little bit, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> we're we're kind of running out here. Yeah, we're running out. Roddy. Oh yeah, we need a Roddy. We need a Roddy. I'm not made for this. Demanding. There's justice. Justice. Justice, come here. <laughs> He's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my, God. Oh my gosh, oh, see, La see, so ladies and gentlemen, introducing the legendary Justice Tremblay. How how you doing? Former member of uh, Daniel Mono's uh, The Trilliums, Ancient Shapes. Uh, me and Steve hung out a bunch. <laughs> That's all. Colin, you're the best. This is an honor. I won't be in it. It's fine. You're in. You're in. You're in, you're in it right now. It's happening right now. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy you're here. I'm so th I'm thrilled to be here. Yeah. yeah. Um. How are you feeling today? Very good. The vibes are great. Uh, uh, we're here with our two sons, and they're enjoying it. They're loving life. Um, it's loud, but it's they're good. They're having fun. We had ice cream. What flavor did you have? Uh, strawberry. Perfect. <laughs>
Hello, it's Juliana Rialino reporting live from Hillside on Saturday during the day. Steve Lampke just played and we are just uh, taking in the sunshine and taking a beat. And uh, I want to introduce you to the youngest member of the, the, the You've Changed crew. Uh, his name is Jude Rialino. And uh, I just want to say, here he is. He's got his, uh, he's repping uh, Constantine's uh, Canadian rock legends. Uh, he's repping his Young Lion shirt. Jude, can you show the camera your shirt? Can you give me a rawr? Why? <laughs> so I guess that's all we have today. He's just, uh, he's running off. Uh, he's going to explore the sights and sounds and uh, we'll catch you later. Happy Fest 2023 is grinding to a triumphant halt. It's been a beautiful festival. We've seen great sets from You've Changed artists uh, such as Shotgun Jimmy, John McKeel via the band Flower, the band Fiverr, and the Atlantics. And I just want to let you folks in on a little secret. This will be from the past now because you're watching this video in the, fu in the future. But tonight we're going to have a special performance of... Juno award-winning chanteuse to indie rock, Julie Dueron, featuring a band of all-stars. And right now for you, folks, I have an exclusive interview with the band of all-stars that are going to be accompanying Julie Dueron this evening. Who do we got here? So I think we should play this like a B7. B7. Okay, okay, yeah. We've got to go in. We don't want to let the mosquitoes in. Come on in quick, folks. I want to let those bugs in. Augmented, I diminished. I think I'll play the el el yeah. Well, who? Wait, I'll hold. Play the eleventh, and then the modulate to this, the sort of sixth and a half. You want to? So you definitely want to modulate to yeah, six modulate and a half. <laughs> I was kind of over five and a half. Hey, how's it going, guys? You, uh, what you, what are you up to right now? What are you guys doing? We're rehearsing for our, our big show tonight with uh, Julie Dwarin. Can we expect any sort of um, hijinks or uh, dataist theatrics? Yes. If Jimmy's in the band. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I wanted to show you something else. Come with me. Yeah, come with me. Just kick off your shoes. <laughs> Just through here. Who's that guy? Who's no, guy? no, no. Come on, stand up. <laughs> stand up. Ah, oh, he doesn't want to be on camera. Okay. Almost had him. Almost had him. Has anyone seen John McKeel? John? Oh, no, I do see him right there. Check him out. He's right there. I found John and his whole family down here in the fucking corner. This is pretty sweet right now. Okay, okay, okay. We've been asking everywhere, actually. It's crazy. We've been asking around, like, the whole festival. Like, has anyone seen John McKeel? No, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. know. I don't think so. No one's seen him. And then, and then I get here, and then I did see him. So that's, like, what is crazy about this. He's saying I don't think so, but it's I like, don't, I don't, he is not. I don't like, think so. I don't think he's here. Wait. Do you know John McKeel? Going good. It's just chilling. Um, yeah, we're just like roaming around. Um, well, we're like kind of gotta get like, like we gotta like, yeah, like this is getting pretty weird over here, right? This is like crazy over here right now. Always uh, sort of an impending doom approaching on uh, Sappy Fest. Okay, so my first Sappy Fest is like maybe the first or the second one, and I was playing drums in this band called Yellow Jacket Avenger, and uh, we played at George's Roadhouse with 
Snail House, a Mike Fiersack project. And what I remember from it is that Jeffrey had an anxiety attack and his arm seized up and his left hand couldn't play the guitar anymore. And so we stopped the set halfway through and then Mike took the stage and played a beautiful set to like finish out the thing. And then I think I went to watch Eric's trip at this fucking theater right here for, for sure I did. And it was very, very, very warm. And then the Vogue Theater, we all entered it later in the afternoon that day, I believe, and we watched Eric's trip perform, which is like always a good experience for me. I have a lot of history with that band. I love that band a lot. Mark Adet, influential drummer. So watching Mark Adet at any stage of my life has always just been like through and through, so enjoying and uh, so enjoying it always. Anyway, Vogue Theater was really warm that night and uh, Eric's trip were awesome, as if they were even playing, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hi, and welcome back. You know, it's non-stop. We keep running into people from You've Changed Records all the time here. I've got Matthias and Ariel from The Burning Hell. You two aren't playing at the festival this weekend, but you came out as a personal guest of myself. Are you having a good weekend? Having the best weekend of my life. Yeah, top notch. 100%. 100%. And you know, are you guys, I heard you guys are longtime fans of YCTV. Like, it, it changed my life in back in the early 80s, I think, and it's been changing, changing it ever since. And how does it feel to actually be in the limelight on YCTV talking to Jimmy Jimerson? I just can't believe that this is happening to me, to be honest. Well, I've got you two here. I want to ask you, uh, what is your favorite YC-related memory here at Sappy Fest. Uh, singing your song, Dark Cloud, with you on the Bridge Street stage back in 2009, I want to say. Do you remember that? I don't, sorry. <laughs> it was incredible. It was very important for me. Uh, it did happen. Remember, you remember, remember it. Remember yeah, it. yeah, we did a duet. Okay, we did? We, we got to do it again. Can you cl cut to a clip of that and then cut back to a clip of us talking? You can't talk about You've Changed Records, Memories at Sappy Fest without mentioning Richard Laviolette sleeping in the treehouse at the farm. I don't know how he did it without getting eaten alive by mosquitoes, but somehow he managed to pull it off. I think several years at least. Definitely one year he slept in the treehouse. Richard's the best? Yeah. yeah every, every Richard performance. I know, he's done, had some good ones here. All right, well, thanks for uh, chatting with us. Hope you enjoy the rest of your festival. Thanks for all the memories. And that's it, folks, for our Sappy Fest 2023 coverage here on YCTV. I've been your host, Jimmy Jimerson. As you can see, we're here at the world-famous uh, Sackville Legion Hall. Julie Dwaron and some special guests. It looks like she has Jose Contreras and Colleen Collins up there with her right now. They're just getting set up for their big special concert, surprise concert tonight. Thanks for tuning in to watch YCTV and uh, have a great rest of your day.